Yeah, that guy does not have his lights on and that is so freaking dangerous. It's a lot cooler out right now than it was the last week. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. As you guys can see right now, oh wow, this is nice and cool. Yeah, fix that mirror. We are on the Gemini. I am out for my weekly ride off work home. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. I'm going to go down by the water after we get all the industrial area. Then see what this town looks like at night again on a weekday night. Fucking ass turn off for your fucking high beams. That was a Leo too on top of that. Oh, I got something in my freaking helmet. So I found out a price on that uh, electric uh, dirt bike Emma's coming out with. Uh, so far, what I've been seeing across the board is $5,999 plus, ta uh, plus tax, freight, and PDI. That's a about the normal thing now. It's pretty pricey, so I'll be saving my pennies for a while for that. Yeah, if you hear the auto change, it means I'm cracking open my... Uh, visor because I need to get some fresh air in my helmet I thought it'd be more nastier riding tonight but it's not you don't have the sun beating down on your head it still is sitting at like 25 28 degrees right with the humidex it's been a really warm week so last weekend <clears throat> so tonight is actually you can see the haze and the lights too so right now I'm just taking a nice little stroll I have to clean off my camera lens Take a nice little stroll out to the band shell and back home. <laughs> oh, bugs. Stop light, see who stops. I don't know why you're going out so wide for it, dude. Giving you more than enough room. So it is a weekday night still, it's not following no holiday. So I'm actually currently filming this video on a Wednesday night, because it's my Friday. So the town is still pretty busy after 11 o'clock, because in this town people work 24-7. So I'm expecting the streets to be maybe a little bit busy, but not too crazy. Yeah, it's nice and cool out in the countryside, but once you get into the city, you're going to feel a difference. Oh, Jesus. Here I am worried about my light pods being too bright by these freaking trucks behind me, you freaking turning night into day. Hey, you're gonna cut right in front of me and never use your turn signal. Oh wow, I'm freaking super sure. Wow. People in my town don't even know what those things are. These little blinky things that indicates where you're going. So yeah, actually my turn signal on, I think it's my, my left side in the back. I already changed it out, out once this season because of condensation got into it after I was riding home when it was raining out. 
it happened again. I got caught in a little bit of like a little mist on the way home, and I just realized it like beginning of the week. I had two LED chips that burnt out in it. Well, I paid 20 bucks for four. What do you expect, right? You buy cheap, you get cheap results. So I'm gonna have to change. Well, my only time I'm gonna change that was when you know pretty much all of them stopped working, but the vast majority of them are working. And if they weren't, I would definitely change it for safety's sake. Let's just fog it up here. There we go. Ever since I, re I hardwired the uh, strobe module into my actual 12-volt uh, system and tucked it away more into the bike, I haven't had any issues with it coming on. I think I had it come on once, but I think on my hand I might have hit the button. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So I'm just going to take my normal side streets throughout the town. This week, because I know these streets and yeah, they're quiet, especially at night. <clears throat> I got this guy behind me, these fucking LEDs on. Whoa, almost turned in front of this guy. No, you're turning? Okay. Left side of my lens is fogged up. Not good. Got this guy behind me. Take me, which is stupid. Yeah, you're not doing fucking 50. I was, just like, I was doing 43 there. This guy's usually doing like almost 60, 70. It makes you wonder how some people get a driver's license. I might want to bet this guy's going to Timmy's. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take him right up here. Was it right? Or is he going to make these? Good. Okay. So I ordered the strobe light kit for the zone. That should be in. I'd like to make a video of me installing it, but if it's going to be like 40 degrees outside, I'm not taking my camera equipment out with that. So I'm just looking for issues with the overheating. And I'm not standing out in that shit just to film because I'm going to get a heat stroke. <laughs> and I think I swallowed a bug. Lovely. You need to have your fog lights on, dude. <coughs> Actually, in my town, riding on the sidewalk, unless you're a kid with your bicycle, is a bylaw, but no one enforces it. But yeah, if you've seen the way some people drive in this town, you could, I don't blame them being on the sidewalk. There's a cop car up ahead. So... <clears throat> oh, there's a car behind me too. Man, those LEDs are bright at night. Yeah. I kind of want to go down to where the old rat nest area is. But when I say rat's nest, it's like a... Uh, one time there was like a, some sort of a bar or a pub down there. What's this big truck doing? 
We're stopping. We're backing up. Okay. And what the hell is this car behind me doing? So it used to be like some sort of a bar slash pub down there. They tore it down many moons ago. So now it's just a, like a a spot where uh, the local baseball field has their uh, diamonds and their I call it like a, like a canteen. That's all there is pretty much down there, and also the bike path, right? So. I've never been down there at night. So I'm just going to take this street here. And that was kind of a shitty turn I just did there. Dead end. Oh, I'm going down this way. Yeah. This town's a lot different at night. Anything. So, obviously, down by the docks is obviously going to be a high crime rate area, right? So, I've never been down there before at night. So, if I see anything fucking sketchy, I'm getting all dodge quick. <clears throat> I may be a big dude, but this bike throws me around like I was a rag doll. But yeah, I like exploring shit, especially when it's at night. Batteries in perfect condition. See, hopefully the cops don't think I'm a suspicious person because I don't have my ID on me. So, obviously I'm not able to break the law. You guys obviously know that. And those condos look good. If you guys hear my front brakes, they just have dirt in them. I just gotta hit them with brake cleaner and spray them out. Quite normal on this bike. Oh, I am not the only person down here. Okay. I thought this would be my brake helper. Light fishing. So dark in the water at night too. I'm gonna smoke himself a J. It's a good cup of the cups. Well, let's go in my vehicle. I just left it there. I think I might have to uh, angle my spot beams up just a bit more. I have high beams, only regular low beams. That's no one blind that guy. Yeah, that is a government vehicle. Well, there's a heat lighting in the background. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. Yeah, I grew up out here as a kid. This was always my favorite spot to go to. But there is no more harbor that I tore that down a couple years ago. I think it was last year or the year before that. They still haven't decided what they want to do with that land. A lot of people are suggesting they put some sort of a play structures out there, but yet this near water, not very smart. Like, there's so much potential in that area. 
but nothing's happening with it. Got a crab apples on the ground here. I actually really actually think about doing a night ride on a bike path up at the hydro dam. Okay, we're going down to the sketchy part of the area. Like I said before, if I see anything I don't like, I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> 